Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, today I'm wearing sunglasses because something really cool just happened. Rick Astley came on stage with the Blossoms at Glastonbury and did some um, uh, Smiths covers, from what I've heard. Um, I haven't seen any of this footage yet, so I'm going to watch it and react to it. But the first thing I want to say about Rick Astley is, yeah, he had that hit in the 80s, uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, or whatever it went, I, you know, it was that one. And he had the, the dance, and, and I think a lot of people sort of saw him as a figure of ridicule, but since, I don't know, the last 10 years or so, he's been popping up in really unlikely situations and doing great stuff. Um, I actually really adore Rick Astley. I, I saw him once, years and years ago, I was walking around uh, Parsons Green in London looking for a Starbucks, as I was um, often doing in those days. And I saw him across the road and I was looking at him going, that's Rick Astley in Parsons Green. I was blown away. Um, That was before all of my um, success and all that. But uh, I don't know, he's got got a presence, this guy. Um, Anyway, I'm going to react to the footage, which I haven't seen yet, but um, I have anecdotal um, uh, evidence that it might be quite awesome. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. So, Rick Astley fans are claiming that the star has won Glastonbury 2023 as he shocked festival goers with a surprise appearance. For the first time ever, Rick Astley, 57, has played at Glastonbury. Um, He made a surprise performance with the popular indie band Blossoms. He came out and performed uh, with the band singing Smith's songs. Um, Some fans that were blown away by the performance um, are asking for Astley and the Blossoms to go on tour frequently which I think is a brilliant idea. The Blossoms are an English pop band from Stockport and their self-titled debut album was one of the 12 albums nominated for the Mercury Music Prize in 2017. So these aren't just some chances. These are a proper lot, you know. Um, JFKV1GM um, said on the uh, on the video itself, Rick has just deservedly earned himself legions of new fans. The drummer of the Blossoms is having the time of his life. Um, and then Gerard's... Point five one nine said Rick Astley just made himself a legend with this performance. He also sang and played drums on ACDC's Highway to Hell. Um, I'll, I'll come back to that, but I think what I'm going to watch first is the is the Smith stuff. Okay. Jesus Christ! As soon as he starts singing, that's like, yeah, he's putting some Rick Astley stink on it. But my God, this is really what you want to hear well, let's put some growl on that but he's hitting the notes it's really it's really great <laughs> this is awesome my god I wish I was there I usually with uh, things like Glastonbury I get Jomo which is the joy of missing out but I'm now I'm having FOMO no Romo um, which is not the romantic modernist movement, which I'm also very fond of, but um, the regret at having... No. Ra... Ra... No. The regret at having missed out. I would have loved to have been there for this. And you can hear the crowd knowing every word, and this is just what you want to hear. Fucking brilliant piece of festivalness absolutely awesome this is amazing well done rick astley i'm 41 seconds into it and loving it and that drummer is having a great time 43 seconds look at that smile (laughs) gives it a crashes into us to die by your side oh and he gives it a to us, like kills the both of us. That's lovely. He's just putting enough on it to sort of make it his own thing, but he's doing a a faithful Morrissey on this, and it's ah, oh, it's just brilliant. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> when he gets the gives it the real groon. Groon? Croon. <laughs> Doesn't it make you want to just go back to those Smiths records and listen to them again in a new light, with a new excitement and enthusiasm? He's, I don't think he's just made himself into a legend with this. He's reaffirmed his status as a legend, but at the same time, he might have revitalised that Smiths catalogue that, that, catalog that a lot of people have began to overlook on account of you know some of the sort of uh, inflammatory things that Morrissey says, you know in these modern times and it's, I know it's hard to separate the art from the artist sometimes but these are brilliant songs and just hearing somebody as likeable as Rick Astley doing them and doing them really well the Blossoms are kicking ass as well what a great band this is <laughs> I've said it three or four times it's fucking awesome <laughs> Yeah, and he's teasing the quiff, which is all his own hair. Look at that. I mean, if it was some sort of toupee, you'd expect the adhesive strips to start, uh, not um, from what I've read, you'd expect the adhesive strips to begin to become compromised, really, um, in, in the heat and sweat of a, of a Glastonbury tent performance. My God, Rick Astley, this is f***ing amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I really want to meet this guy. I think he's so cool. Check out that response. I mean, the, the crowd are doing it all for him and he's still in there. He could easily just hold the microphone out and just let them take it, but he's not. He's, he's just leading them. This is a proper performance by a real front man. I mean, decades of experience and he knows what he is. He's having fun with it and people love him. I'm one of the people that love him. He's really going for it. This is a hell of a moment. I hope it happened at the end of the Blossom set because how do you follow that? You know what I mean? It's just like, this is killing it. Suitably chaotic, suitably chaotic ending there. But my God, what a moment. That's so exciting. I'm nearly crying. Thank you very much indeed. That's the break. Uh, you know what? That's just fucking staggering. It's really, it's so good. That, I mean, if anything from Glastonbury's footage that I've seen comes anywhere near that, it just doesn't. <laughs> Let's face it. That's a, that is a hell of a moment. And w so well played. Like the, the Blossoms just note for noted that shit and it's not easy to do this the smith sounds simple and indian fey and light but it isn't it's it's difficult to do it right and they've done it just exactly the way you want to hear it it's fantastic wow i'm amazed by that justin hawkins rides again again sorry about that email notification that was linkedin trying to get me to do something else with my career you LinkedIn. This is what I love and this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and oh my god, do yourself a favour and check out that footage of Rick Astley with the Blossoms. It's amazing. Amazingly great. Nice one guys. See you later. Okay.